everybody, welcome back to Wet the Face. I'm so glad you're here. And today we have something new. Uh, I have a letter from the Baron right here. Do you see that logo? Probably know what that means, right? Um, we have something new that was developed and he wants me to analyze it and give him feedback. And I asked, do you want me to do this? without doing a video. He says he doesn't care. Um, so here it is. He gave me the sample right there. And I really do like this uh, packaging as samples. Uh, it's very easy to uh, to send even in like a regular envelope, which he did uh, send to me. Um, so this little, uh, this little um, puck, if you will, has the new soap in it. And I'm telling you, holy crap, holy. Scent on this is just phenomenal. Uh, it's an ode, I believe. Um, so we are going to bring this to, uh, put this in a bowl, bring it to the face and talk about the results. And uh, I can't wait to share this with you. So let's get, uh, let's get to it right away. See you in a little bit. Don't go away. So uh, let me show you some of the tools we'll be using today. Uh, this is, of course, the Occam's razor. We'll be using that with a um, with a blade on it. Uh, it is the Feather Pro Guard, and I'm going to pick out my uh, brush. And I do believe I'm going to be using uh, this uh, Frank Shape brush here, right here. I'm going to be using this one. The, um, the soap in question is right here, and it's very, very hard, so I'm going to scrape off some, throw it in here, and then we'll do the, um, we'll do the, the, the lathering, and uh, let's get to it right now. Okay, as you can see, the bowl has the soap in it, but man, when I was pressing the soap down and uh, smoothing it all around in the bottom, Oh, the 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 actual the scent is just so pleasurable. I I just love this scent. Um, it is extremely dark, black, black. And uh, as you can see, I'm just gonna show you that. You see how that <laughs> that's the soap from my fingers. I'm just wiping it off, and it's uh, it's very very dark. So, with uh, no hesitation, I'm gonna take this Frank Shea brush, and we're gonna wet it. And I'm going to wring out some of the water here. And uh, I'm going to dry my hands because I don't want it to get slipping out of my hands here. And uh, let's do the lathering. So here we go. Mm. I'm going to add a little more as we need. You can see the lather is not white. It is, uh, it is dark in color. Gray, if you will. see any more soap on the bottom of the of the bowl so therefore it's all dissolved so let's take this to the face and uh, apply the lather here we go all right so I have about uh, six to seven days growth so let me wet the face And uh, 
Let me just dry my hands. All right, and here is the soap on the brush. It's gonna water it a little bit, and I'm gonna work it in. So here we go. Right away, scent knockout. It's a just. This is getting right into the beard. Hmm. I love it. It reminds me of when I see women getting facials, like a mud facial. Very nice. This would be great if you uh, use the scuttle and heated up the, um, the lather. That would be another nice treat, I'm telling you. Okay, I can do this all day. Here you go. And now I will take the Occam's razor and we'll uh, start the shave. Here we go. Hmm. Wow. So I've been, uh, I've been working on more soaps. And uh, as you can see, I got my order in for uh, my aftershaves bottles. They came in. What a hassle that was. I'm changing vendors because they just dropped the ball on me. I missed the, uh, the Father's Day. And to top it off, something strange happened. I uh, was put in Facebook jail temporarily, I guess. I posted something in 2018. I don't know if you guys remember something, but I it was on my personal page. I posted something about Ben Affleck going into rehab. It was all over the all over the news. Nothing new. And they of course, this is done by this. This um, is done by bots. It's not done by real people. So they rely on algorithms to handle a lot of their patrolling of their own site, and uh, they uh, they jailed me for forty eight hours or something like that, and I gave them a real stern letter explaining how wrong they are and uh, they seem to um, because this happened over a weekend there's probably no one there to take true responsibility of their actions and basically it's like you're beta testing their logarithm because they tell you Oh, we're sorry that this has caused you problems, but let us know, like, why you don't think this is true. Why you should be, you know, they're just testing it out on their public. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't respond to anybody. Um, I couldn't post. I couldn't do anything. 
and uh, and this was still going on probably until Monday it's uh it's really disturbing really disturbing okay and to top it off I did I took that downtime to uh, create a new batch of uh, the perfect cup which takes a very long time to produce um, it's uh, it's a grueling process because you're working with real real coffee and it doesn't you know I had to figure it out it took me a long time to figure out how to get this to work but a uh, new batch is uh, being done right now I got the aftershaves ready and I even have bar soaps that are uh, curing and they're ready too. They took a very long time to cure because of the oils in the coffee. It just kept pouring out. I had to wipe them, dry them. And it took all, several months, like uh, six months for them to really cure to 100%. So uh, I have all that. So uh, look, I am, I have um just experienced a wonderful, wonderful shave. Very close. And the fragrance is still on me. Um, here, look at this. This is the brush. Probably two more passes with this with no problem. Uh, I found it um, just wonderful. Um, yeah, there is a little bit of there is a little bit of tackiness. But uh, nothing that an aftershave could not solve. And to tell you, if he doesn't make an aftershave for this soap, he's insane. Because this soap is... I'm going to take it another whiff. Oh, man. <laughs> you have to make... Baron, you got to make an aftershave for this. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm just going to put on Gray's Vetiver because I don't have his aftershave. This is so brand new. I don't even know if he's ever going to come out with it, but I'm going to put this on. Oh yeah, that's fighting belt. All right. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so, look, I highly recommend this. Uh, if anything, for the scent alone, get it. Um, I really felt it uh, was really nice on my face. Uh, I, I don't know how, uh, to be honest, I don't know if charcoal is, which is I think is the property in here that turns it gray. I don't know how much benefit it is. I am not a scientist. I'm not gonna do any studies on it. It's in there. If you like that, fine. If not, uh, I still would get it because uh, it doesn't deter anything from the shave and uh, the scent alone is worth getting this when it's ready for release. So uh, I had a great shave, and I hope you have a great shave too, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.